sit. You know better, sit. All right, so what we have here is, I just ran a track for Silo, his first time in the timber. He's seven months old. Uh, where the track pops out on the road over here, I actually took the track, continue the track across the road through that timber, pops out over here. There's my car. What's gonna be very interesting is when Sergeant gets to that road, that's where I played with the deer hide and silo. We did a bunch of turns, chased it around. We did it all the way back to the car. So one of two things are gonna happen. He's gonna pop out, smell that deer hide and silo and track to the car, or he's going to hopefully track across the road and continue the track and complete it. If for some reason he gets hung up on where me and Silo played, I will correct him and push him closer to the road and hopefully he continues across the asphalt and then resumes the track. No, you need to sit. Sit. Charge, you know better. Sit. You can see the start. Charge, find. 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 Oh boy, find it. Is a quick 90, and I gotta admit, Silo nailed it. Come on, get to work. 90s are right here. Let's see if Sarge nails it. Sarge went past it. 90s down into there. Yeah, we might never make it to the end. Charjo, you want it? Hey, Charjo, what are you tracking? Hey, what are you tracking? What are you tracking over there? I didn't bring him back. I just asked what he was doing. Let's see who grabs it now. That's where he should have went in. Well, that's a good boy. Yeah, that's a good boy. Find that deer. This dog, one, two, three years old. Was a maniac in the woods. Hey, come on. Let's go find that deer. He was pulling my arms off. Once he hit age four, really slowed down, five and six. You're looking at it, now he's turning seven. You really get spoiled when a dog gets older. Track goes straight through there. So Silo did really well considering we jumped deer coming up to this log. We're coming through here. The deer jumped up right over here, ran that way, and he watched him, and that took his mind off the track. Sarge is exactly on it. After we did the restart with Silo, he completed it with no problem. He, he did not track very accurately in the woods, but he definitely tracked it. Um, he definitely likes Sarge right now. He, I went over this log, he's low, this branch. So I did the same thing, he went around it and came back in. So Sarge is slightly getting off right now. I actually go right next to these two trees. And we cut straight down there. That's exactly where Silo went. Charges are on right now.
he was literally seconds away of getting a correction. So we come around, come through here, right where he's going now, he's, he's reconnecting. I recall I was right through here, not there. Like right down through here, right where he's at. That's a good correction, Sarge. Go boy, go boy. So this track is um, not quite a UBT one, probably 100, 100 yards short of the minimum UBT one. It was nothing hard for Silo. It was more just an interaction to the woods. Oh, cool! I missed. I missed a clip. So you guys can see, I missed a clip earlier. There's the clip. You lose those things. I had to. I actually bought a whole pack today, 40 packs. So I got to repaint them up. Sarge made the turn perfectly. Another 75 yards right the road. Let's hope this goes smooth. I'm really curious what he's going to do with the, I'll call it the play area. When Sarge was younger, I was like, man, you need to slow down. Now I'm like, you need to speed up. I don't recall going this. I think I was more to the left here. I don't think I was over here. That's where he's going. Perfect. So I thought you can make a right. Perfect. Exactly. Now when I track, I honestly allow the leash to drag. I don't really hold on to the leash. I just walk with it. I need to step on it. I step on it. It goes straight up straight out he's spot on I really didn't expect him to struggle with this because obviously I've walked it twice he has his brother silo sent through here plus the deer scent I don't expect any of this to be a, a difficult for him. Oh, look, I missed another clip. Another clip. We actually pop out right here, not there. But Silo did go out right here and then went to the end. Oh, he's coming right back to it. Got a little bit tugged up here. Let me get it loose. So I actually come out right here in the deer hide. It was right on the edge of this grass. We're coming into the play zone. Where'd he go? Where'd he go, boy? Where'd he go? Let's go, find him up. Pretty confused. No one went that way, not even a little bit. There's no breeze, it's just dead still. There you go, find it. Come on, did it work?
Well, it's not looking like we're even gonna get to the uh, out to the grass where we even played. These leashes are such a pain in the ass. But the old state of Michigan will not allow us to get rid of them. Keep a dog tethered to find something dead. Makes sense. You can hunt coons, fox, bear, turkey, waterfowl. The dog don't have to be on a leash. Oh, we gotta go find something that's dead. You better put a leash on it. That makes sense. Come on, boy. It's out here. Let's go. Here, I'm gonna help you out. Let's go. This way. Come on. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. Come on. Go get it. Oh, you got briars. Yeah, you don't like the briars. Come on. Turtle, come. Let's go. Man up. Man up. That was the whole problem. He don't like briars. That's why he didn't go through it. Okay, we're at the play area. We actually go in by the hydrant over there. Right there is where the... Oh, well, you think you got the end, but you don't, buddy. You see him wagging. That's where a little piece of the silos reward was. Come on. You got to find it. Your reward is better than his. I promise you that. Come on. Find it. Come on, sirs. Let's go. Find it. Where'd he go? We played circles and circles and circles all the way to the car. So that deer hide scent is all over this which I'm sure trumps the uh, hoof scent that I laid down. There is no blood. So once we get over here, we just have 120, 150 yards down, pretty straightforward through there, pops out uh, for the reward. And then we're back to the car. So it's not really that much further if he can figure it out. Come on, find it. Where'd he go? Yep, more reward. Where'd it go? Nope. Take a little break. All right, you better. Find the deer, let's go, find the deer. Dang it, he was pretty much on the line heading out. Here we go, here we go. Go left, go right towards that hydrant. Oh boy, oh boy. I went in right there. Where he is, it's a deer run though. See, he visually looked. Those are things as, as your handler you gotta watch for. There's the slightest indications they will teach you what they're thinking or wanting. He looked on that run. And now he wants to go down the deer run, which is incorrect. Back to where I went. That's it, get it, boy. Come on, get it. Give him a little confidence booster. You don't want to go over all that shit? Huh? Come on, let's stop being a wimp. Let's go, get the deer. Get the deer. 
I don't care how you get there. Just get there. Let's go. Find him. Let's see if he hooks right right now and gets over where it was. Once we get off of through this crap, that went down through there. He needs to make a hard right to get back on scent. But in the real world, I wouldn't know all this. I'd be distrusting the dog. On through there. See how much he's off. But he is coming back to reconnect. Yep, he's on it. I know I went to the right of this big rock, so he's back on. Then I get on a deer run, I stay right on that deer run for a while. Yep, there's the deer run. I don't remember exactly how I went through this. I just know I'm somewhere through here. If I had to guess, I'd feel like I'm more here than here. But it's possible I came through here. I know I got a deer on. I feel like he's gonna go back and get on that deer run because that's where I think I was. That's a good boy, Sarge. Get it. Yeah, I was on that deer run. 100%. Then this little cedar tree coming up, I remember I make the right to head towards the road. Which the reason I went down this deer run is to see if he makes my right hand turn if he stays on this run because it's full of scent. He needs to go right, right there. He missed it. Straight out to the end. Making his own correction. That's a good boy. Get it, buddy. You're doing good. Get this leash somewhat loosened up for him here. Good boy. Find him. There's a lot of uh, talk about how much should you talk to your dog. I don't think there's a right answer. stopping right there not sure what's going on um i say talk to your dog as much as you feel like you want to i think you can over talk but definitely only give positive reinforcements when you 100 percent know that dog is right some dogs don't need reinforcement some dogs love it i always just say it's your decision Learn your dog. Sarge likes it a little bit, especially around briars. He don't like briars, but he's at the end right here. What you got there, old son? What you got there, old boy? Good boy, Sarge, old boy. That's a good boy. 
That's our goal, boy. Get some of that bacon. Get some of that bacon. Good job, Sarge. Now I'll swing this piece of hide around. I'll let you guys see that. And I'll shut it down. What you got, buddy? What you got, buddy? What you got, buddy? What you got, buddy? Let's get across the road, Sarge. Let's get across the road. Come on. Come on. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Oh. Good boy. Good boy. So we'll play with this for a little bit and call it a day. That's a good boy, Sarge. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Thanks for watching. Miller Deer Tracking. We cover the entire state of Michigan. Dip down to Ohio when we need to, Indiana. We might be in Kentucky for their opener. If you need services, 810-240-4891. Any comments, questions, feel free to leave them. Hey, that's a good boy, old boy. That's a good job.